Deadly tornadoes ripped through Iowa over the weekend. At least seven people have been killed, two of them children. That storm leveling some communities with at least 50 homes destroyed. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest now in our top story at five. A monster tornado caught on camera ripping through Iowa. Oh the National Weather Service confirms it was an EF4 tornado with winds of up to 170 miles per hour and a path of nearly 70 miles, destroying parts of Winterset just outside of Des Moines. This is, I think, the worst anyone has seen in uh, quite a long time. At least seven people killed, including a five and two year old from the same family. More than 50 homes damaged or destroyed. He wasn't here. My son wasn't here. We're all alive. We're all safe. This is all just stuff. Jennifer and Adam O'Neill, who own a flower farm in Winterset, describing the terrifying moments and what's now left behind. We were hunkered down in the basement and uh, it was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. So our red barn is gone. And we're standing on the foundation of our little flower cottage. This is our event barn. Iowa's governor getting emotional after the devastation, a drone capturing the magnitude. I tried to walk through and thank them for being there. And over and over, the response was, we're Iowans, and that's what we do. As the cleanup continues, the area is now bracing for more extreme weather. A winter blast with snow and single-digit wind chills is expected. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. First responders and volunteers from all across the state converging on that damaged area to help out. Red Cross deploying rescue aid units to the areas most affected and condolence care to help out the families of those lost in the disaster. Volunteers here in Siouxland even organized some aid from afar by supporting supply shipments and booking lodging for those who lost their homes. KCAU spoke with Tammy Lee, the executive director of the Northwest Iowa and Northeast Nebraska areas about how different the victims' needs can be challenging to describe exactly how we're helpful because every disaster is different and every community need is different so what you're seeing in um, the community of Winterset might be different than the needs of what is happening um, in another community and the support that's available Tammy goes on to say that if you are looking to help out be careful where you donate to ensure that it actually goes to help the victims of this storm